and you're listening to the Smack Raw Podcast. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the AEW recap brought to you by the Smack Draw Podcast. I am your host, Katie Katie Bay Bay. Bay Bay! (laughs) (laughs) And I am joined by Kyle Tyson, Kevin Crazy, and the returning Mr. Rob Rude. How are you guys doing? There we go. Yo, I'm doing great. (laughs) Already plugging the stickers. I love it. Thank you, Rob. It's not a sticker. It's my head. It's a head now? (laughs) (laughs) Right? This is not a sticker. It's my head. Oh, my God. I can't. This is great. I love it already. Oh, this is going up the rails. Okay. Um, Before we dive into Dynamite tonight... I want to give a quick shout out and say what's up to the people in the chat because we are currently live on the Standing Streamers Twitch channel. Head over to twitch.tv slash the Standing Streamer. Like and subscribe so you get notified every time we go live, but every time he go li- he goes live with his show putting you over. And if you miss the live stream, we have the video form of the podcast up on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the Smacker up or Smacker up podcast, <clears throat> not the Smacker up. Uh, subscribe while you're over there and if you like to listen to your podcast we have the audio version up on basically every podcast platform there is and we are the exclusive recap show for wrestling news world head to their website bookmark the page so it's always up check out their articles their podcast and their premium content and you kyle had a few of the guys on the unpopular wrestling opinion show I so did. how did how did that go? Oh, it was fun. So episode eight was a semi season finale. I think it's the last of the weekly produced show and now might go bi weekly. But we had Thomas Fenton um and Colby from Wrestling News World. Uh and essentially with Matt Ritter, the way I booked this was I just wanted the three loudest and most vulgar guys i can (laughs) book because the previous week with you katie um and and rob and rob i was there and uh uh, mary shadows you guys were entirely too nice so i had to get the opposite end of the (laughs) spectrum going and it was it was a lot of fun man it was a lot of fun that episode goes up uh well was supposed to go off about an hour ago shit i forgot (laughs) <laughs> um, so I'll, put it up. <laughs> I'll put it up after we're done streaming you guys can catch that uh tonight tomorrow whenever you're watching this it will be up on our youtube channel it is a ton of fun a lot of fucking laughs um <clears throat> yeah yeah make sure to check out episode eight of uwl featuring wrestling news world's thomas fenton colby and then smacking it raw podcast uh <clears throat> matt ritter I gotta it. plug it out there. Anything with Matt Ritter is, you know, gold. Just throwing yeah, that. He's out there. fucking he's a good gold, dude. man. It's gold. <laughs> yeah. He's funny as hell. I caught this. I caught the stream, and I was cracking the fuck up. And I also told you, next time you put me on, I'll be rude as hell. I was nervous. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> this, this show is designed to be jerks to the jerks on Twitter. Okay, <laughs> that's that was Listen. the premise of the show. Listen, I am a bitch. When you get to know me, let me do it again, please. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do it. You'll be on again. I, I have plans I'm for a, um, an all Smack Draw podcast lineup. Uh, nice. Yeah, so I do have plans for it. Don't worry. Nice. All right. Last thing I'll plug before we start the show. Head over to our Patreon, support us, uh, patreon.com slash podcast. You can get the cool-ass stickers. Again, you'll probably get them before me, but that's besides the point. <laughs> I'll bring it up until I get them, I'm just saying. <laughs> maybe spread uh, demon art. Maybe spread demon art, who knows. Um, if you subscribe to one of our awesome tiers, you can get early access to our pre-recorded YouTube videos, the no, stickers no, no. like I mentioned. There's a little one. <laughs> um, or you can submit a video <laughs> hot take or an unpopular wrestling opinion and it'll be featured on the uwo show 
Kyle, do you want to explain what the newest tier is since I don't actually fully know? <laughs> yeah. So for those of you uh, that are watching the stream, Rob was trying to show off the stickers, but doesn't know. I just have a graphic up right now <laughs> where you can see the new <laughs> t-shirts that we just threw up on our Patreon for the $25 tier. You get everything, the stickers, early access, Patreon shout outs. Um, also, uh, our new t-shirt, which actually the logo comes in four different colors that you can pick from and then obviously pick your t-shirt color as well. So you can customize the shirt to your liking. Um, on top of that, if you are a creator, if you have something to produce, we are combining this with ad space on the show. So for $25 a month, not only do you get the official Smack Drop Podcast t-shirt, but we will be giving you a shout out and your stuff on air uh, for the month. Uh, that you subscribe, uh, which includes D-Rod. Uh, D-Rod's Twitch channel is going to get uh, shout-outs for the whole month of September. So, yeah, Hell please yeah. head over to Patreon, man. We got some cool stuff going over there, some more stuff to come, and we appreciate all the help you guys give us. Yo, big so up, my guys. question is, you said the shirt comes in different colors. Do we have NWO red and NWO white versions Ooh. of this shirt? Because if not, we Ooh. should. Just, Just send me mock-ups, and we'll, we'll make it happen. Life. I'm sure Same. I'm sure it's easy to print black and white. So yeah, we'll make it happen. That would be dope. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Um, you get... <laughs> okay, I'm done. DX version. Oh, DX version. Wait, wait, wait. I yeah, just, it, dude, I really do want to I didn't want to be too much of an asshole, so I left the DX this... one out of it. <laughs> I really want to emphasize you guys could not see Rob during that plug was trying to show off all the stickers, but you guys did not see it because of the graphic. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Do it again? Hold on. Oh, he's got to do it again. Okay, okay. no, let's, let's do it again, Rob. Do it again. Oop, oop, oop. That's a good mm -hmm. one. That's the guy that tapped out to his own sharpshooter to, uh, you know, Shawn Michaels. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> I can't wait for the in-joke on that. It's good. And the only one you can't see here is the uh, – dude, that actually looks sharp right there. Yeah, um, yeah. Is the Mute RN shirt too, or the Mute RN. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't too. have that one. Yeah, that's good. You guys are going to oh. get them here soon. That one is so. dope. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. She's Katie, <laughs> look, we'll talk. All right, we'll talk. We'll My other talk. Jesus, let's get into the first. show. God damn it. All right, come on, man. Let's <laughs> get on the show. All right. <laughs> All right, let's fucking get into this. Um, <laughs> overall uh, thought about fans being at the show. Fuck yeah! Can I go first? Can yes! I go first? Fans. Okay, it's an oh, absolutely terrible some... idea, and the world is not ready for it. it that's, that's that's facts. It's not ready for it. It's not ready. Fuck I you guarantee off. four or five people that walked wow. out. Wow. Infected. I'm sorry. That's that's my opinion. I mean. Taking like the risk aside, it was dope as fuck. But you gotta I put was, the risk in the into the play because that's what it is. That's what I get that. I get that. But I'm just I'm 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 trying to like in, enjoy it for what it was. Cause like yeah, I mean I get where you're coming from, but like god damn man, when the crowd popped a few times, I like I will yeah. drop my guard and say yes, the crowd yeah. is great. The that's that's what I <laughs> that's all I'm saying, like <laughs> But I, I hear you. <laughs> I just mm. you'll have to wait and see. You can't say it was wrong until negative things come out of this. If nothing negative comes out of it, you can't complain. You know, I can understand being worried, but you cannot say it was a bad move. God damn it! It felt so good to hear a fucking real crowd, man. It really, it's been like five really, months. Really, really. The, the voice hey, crack. Are you okay? <laughs> I no. gotta plug it. It was later <clears throat> in the show, but I'm, I, I loved it when the Cody sucks chant tried to get started and nobody went with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll get we'll get into everything. Don't worry. So we started with the tag team gauntlet match, which was basically three matches in one. Oh, uh, hold, started... on, hold on, Katie. Oh. I'm sorry. Hold on. If I might cut you, I had like two things I wanted to cover first. Oh, okay. Really, Go ahead. If I may, if I may. Go ahead. Um, it's like a half hour, Kyle, and you haven't covered it. <laughs> Shut up. No, 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 no. First of all, first of all, have any of you guys signed up for Thunderdome yet? Nah. No, you have. I did. Yes. Didn't Sebastian do it too? Yeah, but I don't think he made it on because it is oh. first come, first serve. So even if you sign up, you might not. Yeah, you have to be ready to you. log in. Uh, yeah. So I might be on payback. I promise I will not pull my dick out on air. <laughs> Okay. I actually boring. want you to promise to do that. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna <laughs> do that. Also, um, what you guys uh uh did any of you guys think Excalibur was gonna be on tonight? Didn't Jr. tweet like the band was back together? 
or something. I'm confused. Oh, I have no idea. I don't know, but speaking of the commentary tonight, it was fucking fire. Dude, Jericho's it was always amazing. So Jericho's good. always fucking good. Yeah. I think Jericho got to JR tonight. Because JR was tripping all over his words more than normal. And I think <laughs> yep. Jericho was getting to him. But uh, no, yeah. th- those are my two talking points. I'm sorry, Katie. Those no, you're fine. Points. I just it's wanted to good. put it out there. I might be on payback and I will not pull my dick out. Gerard in the chat says he got in payback. They, I'm sorry. I don't mean to make an assumption there. They got in a payback. Oh, it's D-Rod. D-Rod, okay. D-Rod. Yeah, he needs to put like a hyphen or something there. Yeah, He's yeah. a guy, but how dare you assume how to <laughs> That's pronounce right. his name? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, listen, let's, let's let Katie do her job. I can see I her. I think I might die. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Kyle, we used to try to do a half hour show and two hours later. <laughs> so, okay, let's start the recap. Mm. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Katie. This is what okay, happens when Katie. we do Oh, it's busy. fine. I promise. It's good. Just yell at us. <laughs> yeah. What, I have to be a mom now? I'm probably the youngest person here, and I got to be the mom. All right. Maybe. Hey, I'm in an extended adolescence. I don't All right, Kevin, enough. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to time out. Come on, then. go. I'll I'm holding one later. in here. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tag Team Gauntlet started the fucking show. <laughs> nah, Chris nightmares. Jericho started the show. Rob, dude. I, there's a note in there. There's a note in there and you skipped it. Chris Jericho started the show and he came out yeah. and I'm sorry. And it, it's in the play of, did, did we miss the crowd? Yes, we did. Because the crowd finishing Judas is one of the best things. in oh, oh, shit, I missed that. They did sing Judas. They yes. Yeah. Uh, so I'm sorry, like Katie, but it's in the, it, I mean. It's worth it's saying. Jericho looked like he was going to get like emotional and shit yes. a little too, man. Like it was yes. a moment. I don't agree really with them emotional. being there, but since they were, oh my God. The crowd finishing Judas is one of the greatest things. Then the wrestling. gauntlet match happened. Yes. Yeah, that- <laughs> the gauntlet match. Crazy that there was a match that started the show. Wait, Katie, um, what was the match? Kevin. <laughs> Kyle, can you mute him or get rid of him, please? Oh, here you go. Here you go. I got end. you, Katie. I got you. Hold on one it's second. Oh, end. God. Yeah. Boom. Okay, Katie, Thank go you. ahead. <laughs> I can't wait to have that power. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, you can bring him back, I guess. All right, I'll okay, be I'll fine. be nice. We'll bring him back in. We'll bring him back. I'll be nice. <laughs> what if this really fucked up? There Are we go. Are you done being a child? I will not be ignored. <laughs> no. I'm The I'm fact done. you didn't come back with your pen in your mouth is a disappointment. <laughs> All right. Tag team, chance. Okay. Tag team Gollum match Natural Nightmares versus the Young Bucks. We're starting this now. Okay. No. I'm- Oh my god! <laughs> um, the match was good. All four men have great chemistry together. Lots of quick tags were or quick roll ups were attempted. A lot of pinfall attempts, uh, and the BTE trigger gets the win. Like it was a pretty simple match, and that takes us right into the Young Bucks versus Best Friends, Chuck and Trent. Yes, sir. Um, Yes, sir. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It looked like uh, Chuck tweaks his knee a little bit towards the beginning of the match, and it's seen kind of throughout. Um, Probably, like, the hardest sounding and hardest hitting matches of the night, especially Trent's chops. Like, listen, if I got chopped by Trent, I my chest would just concave in itself and I would die. Like, (laughs) that's how fucking hard this man hits. Mm-hmm. And I would also die and I would enjoy every second of it. Uh, <laughs> that's true. I got chopped by Trent heat vent. Let's go. Hotter was... than a heat vent, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> but the biggest plot twist of the night, Hangman comes out, grabs Nick's foot, so they can't even attempt to do the probably the melter driver from what it looked like. And that causes the Bucks to lose the because fuck, I, f- fuck Adam Page. Listen, I've said it. I am a Young Bucks. Call me a fucking Stan. Call me Mark. I don't even care. I fucking love the Young Bucks. And the story, t- and ironically enough, I'm wearing my Elite shirt. Um, the the story. Are you done? Go I, ahead, Katie. Go thank ahead. you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the craziest thing oh. ever. By, by the way, Jess. I see you in the chat. I see you. Fuck off, Kevin. Stay the fuck away from my wife. 
All right, Kate. It was, I'm sorry, Katie. I'm sorry. This is going off the rails already. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. The the Hangman Page shit. Uh, yeah. No, no. In the middle of this match, Chris Jericho said the fucking best friends would sell each other out for a paycheck. Fuck you, Chris Jericho. The best no, friends are the bestest wouldn't. friends in wrestling. Hey, go ahead. I'm sorry. You done? That's all. Most over hug in wrestling. Yeah, best. Oh, that's in the notes too. It's the best thing, second best thing in wrestling, next to the crowd finishing Judas. For real. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Fucking Christ, I can't. There is fantastic storytelling throughout the rest of the night that we will talk about later with the Hangman, with the Hangman and the Bucks. Um, but with the Bucks losing, it leads to the final match of the tag team gauntlet. Best friends taking on FTR and, of course, Tully by their side. Uh, this was one of the first times they did picture in picture, which started fucking me up because they started doing it in relatively important parts. Right. Um, and it, that like, continued throughout the night, too. Yeah, yeah. And it was pissing me off. I was like, I can't pay attention. I got ADD. I can't focus on the thing that's this big on the side of my TV. Right. <laughs> that's what she said. Oh, sorry. God fucking Jeez. damn it. <laughs> Just crazy. <laughs> you're, you're misbehaving just as bad as Rob and I. So you're a, you're a look. Listen, too. I feel like Rob. a mother. This this was the dynamic with Rob. I I just old habits die hard. Okay, listen now. Uh, Katie, please Rob continue. And I, yeah. So FTR <laughs> attacks best friends right off the bat. Uh, they isolate and basically work on Chuck's knee the entire time taking out Trent in the process and FTR makes Chuck tap. They officially, we all kind of saw it coming. FTR officially. No, we didn't. I, I didn't see it coming. <laughs> Listen, storyline story wise, we all knew it was going to be FTR versus Kenny Omega and Hangman Page. I didn't. At all out for the okay, you are the only person. You have to just power through with Rob. You really do. (laughs) I'm the only guy. I mean, I'm probably the only. Well, me and Kevin are the only guys out there. I seen it switching. I seen it switching. I really did. I really did. But you know what? FTR may have won the match, but you know what else? FTR also got. They got the Uzi Hot segment. Mm -hmm. You got that on your history. (laughs) You got that on your history. You won't let that shit die. Yo, no. The one thing that surprised me about this match, though, to be perfectly honest with you. Is that it wasn't Bucks versus FTR at the end, like storyline wise? I thought for sure that's what it was going to no, be. No, see, that's that is why one of the reasons, um, I believe the Hangman Page thing made sense. Yeah, is it's a yeah, legitimate yeah. way to keep the Bucks away from FTR because when you have a match with that much hype behind it, you don't. You don't let them mix it up in a gauntlet match. That's mm-hmm. reserved for a pay-per-view in front of maybe a live audience. Things right, that right, look like right. they're coming to fruition. Um, that's that's what I was talking about before the show. When you, I usually things I don't do is put stuff into perspective like that. Yeah, Paige saved that from happening. He kept the bucks away from FDR. With right. the Kevin bucks looking, you guys know I don't think it's shit like that. But that even hit me instantly. I'm like, yeah, I mean. At first, I thought he was flipping, but no, he's he he protected the match. No, you're not gonna have the Bucks first time mixing it up with FTR at the end of a gauntlet match on an episode of Dynamite. That's gonna be reserved for a huge pay per view, especially if you're familiar with the Being the Elite YouTube series from, like you know, back when it first started. Bucks have been calling out FTR for yeah. ever now. Like, people are frothing at the mouth for these two to mix no. it up. You don't give it away at the end of a gauntlet match. Like, no, you keep them away from each other. I get that, man, but I was like, you taste what the appetite even more. I mean, that's what I was thinking. And, you know, I mean, much like uh, Rob, I just kind of want what I want and fuck <laughs> what really is, you know, uh, what, what makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but hey, look. But I get, I get what you're saying. What you're saying makes total sense. Katie, when do we get Bucks and FTR? Um. Well, obviously not all out. Probably. I'll save predictions for another time. But (laughs) if what what I think will happen happens, probably the pay per view after all out, we'll get bucks fdr possibly for the belts we'll see what's what is AEW's yeah. big pay-per-views you have all out um double or nothing 
Double or nothing. You said full gear, Kev? Yeah. I would think you'd get it at full gear. I wouldn't be surprised. And that's like... Because full gear is their unofficial um, WrestleMania, right? What was the pay-per-view they did, the stadium stampede? Not full gear, excuse me. uh, Double or nothing. Double or nothing. That was double or nothing. That's where yeah. I think you would get it. Is double Probably. or nothing. Oh well, yeah, either yeah. full gear or double or nothing for sure. Yeah. One of those two. Revolution uh popped up in the chat. Yeah, Revolution's a big one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I thought that said retribution. Fuck. Jesus no. <laughs> Anyways. Uh what great. do you hey, what do you think of um Lance Archer and AFA? It wasn't AFA in WWE as well? Like on some like jobber segments? No idea. I don't know. I have no idea. He got his ass beat tonight, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, sure he got murdered. Sure so did. most guys went from WWE to winning titles, but this guy was a <laughs> <laughs> he caved in by fucking Archer, bro. Yeah, he sure <laughs> did. He sure did. Um, yeah. But uh, the segment afterwards was good. What'd you think of it, Katie? With uh, Taz, uh, the Flintstones coming out to confirm. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> Uh, goddamn, um, Jake the Snake and Archer afterwards. I I like I liked it because we've talked that AEW doesn't really know what to do with their big men. I mean, but now Brody's champion. But it kind of gave us a tease into two of their bigger men kind of going at it sooner rather than later. Uh, Lance Archer and Brian Cage, which that match will be very fucking. I'm here for it. If and if yeah. and when it happens, I'm ready. Yeah. But- <laughs> For sure. Me too. What about you, Rob? I, I thought it was good. Um, just like Katie just said, like, even I thought, okay, now big guys are gonna fight. Even though I'm still not a fan of Brian Cage, I will not live it down. He should not have won the ladder match. <laughs> this is something you do with match? him. Bring him Who in and make it? him fight the other big guy that also really didn't deserve a title shot when he got it. But I mean Oh man. Let them fight each other. Which I, I forgot to say earlier. Why was there a gauntlet match? I got to throw it out there really fast. Why was there a gauntlet match? Why does why was FTR putting their number one contendership on the line? I'll tell you this right now, live audience. Treat the crowd first. First crowd back. Gauntlet matches are often hailed to be pretty entertaining, storyline wise. Whatever. I, I believe that was a treat for the audience there. Okay. Yeah. Have Jericho come out and be like, "FTR, I hate you. You got to put your title ship on the line." Okay. Boom. Problem solved. That's why they're wrestling. Well, I like the story. Something stupid. Just something into, stupid to going into, give me uh, reason to. You know what well, I'm saying? I, I like the storyline going in uh, all out, and they gave you know FTR the the biggest advantage in that match. You know, it made sense based on the rankings when the teams like went into the match. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I right, just thought right. it was a little gimmick match to like confirm who the number one contenders were going well, we into all out. Contenders. You. Shut your mouth. You're no going kidding. against <laughs> your foundation. Rob again. sounds like half of Twitter. Like, why do yeah, you no have kidding. rankings, man? <laughs> yeah, he- hey, man, you guys molded me into this. I used to not give two shits about anything. We've turned uh, uh, Twitter and us have turned Rob into a cynic. Uh, man. <laughs> uh, I will never be a cynic. I am the bright ray of sh- sunshine the wrestling community needs. And Are I love you? everything. Are you, though? I don't think. I think it's try, me. Try me. Try me. It's me, not you. I can. Uh, hey, I can. I can out positive the fuck out of you. We're so. still fighting next week at all out. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're gonna lose. I'll be right back, you guys. <laughs> It'll be the main event. Okay. I'll lose in Bye. style. <laughs> so, so I guess I should just keep going. Yeah. Fuck them. Okay. okay. <laughs> um. So. so after the Team Taz and Lance Archer and all that shit, we got the coolest video and promo package for uh, NWA champion Thunder Rosa for taking on Hikaru Shida at All Out for the women's title. Thoughts, feelings, opinions. What do you guys think about this match, this pairing? I'm so excited for it. Before yep. AEW put her in my face, I didn't know who this girl was. I mean, I'm very sheltered. For those who don't know me, I'm very sheltered. I don't know nothing about no Japan. I don't know about indies. I, I watch what they put on my television. Boom. <laughs> I am so ready. 
for this match. I want Thunder Rosa to come in and dunk Sheeta on her head. And I'm the type wow. that's like, Sheeta is the second best wrestler in the world next to Lacey Evans. But I want her to <laughs> come in and run her. <laughs> I mean, do it. this thing. Like, because they've promoted that, oh, AEW is going to go with New Japan and NWA and all them guys, and titles can go to different organizations. Okay, make it happen. Yeah. Well, now they're this is their opportunity to try and make it happen. Exactly. Take well, the AEW title, take it over there, make Sheeta go over there. Let's do this. Yeah. And then in 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 them crosshairs, I'll get to discover more wrestlers. That's yeah. true. Exactly. I'm I'm okay with this. Kevin. Ah. No, I'm very very excited. Um I mean, it's always cool getting a champion versus champion match. That in and of itself like shows what kind of stakes is going on and then uh you know uh like you were saying the the uh video package was really really good it uh lended a lot of legitimacy to what the the stakes of the match like getting fucking smashing pumpkins guy to talk about it and stuff you know um <laughs> uh maybe i'm showing my age a little bit with that <laughs> one rob you might lot. remember the smashing pumpkins i don't know oh, yeah. i know who the smashing i'm not that young okay i don't know i don't know man i'm the, i'm not trying to assume a damn thing all right i'm 24 i've said it on the podcast before kevin okay so i'm like way older than you though so there you go. <laughs> um <clears throat> but that's cool anyway um i thought that was cool you know where he was like yo this is really important for nwa and i understand why that's important for uh aw and it was uh you know, I thought that was a nice touch. We talking about uh, yeah. Rosa and and is, Sheeta. Is Kyle frozen for anyone else? Kyle's or is frozen. Just... Yeah, okay. Kyle is frozen. He is for okay. I thought it was just me, and I was like, "Fuck." Um, maybe on your end. Uh oh. I mean, carry on without me, but. Is anybody there? There yeah. you go. Hey, we're back. You were frozen and then we couldn't hear you. Okay. Were you guys talking about Rosa taking on Sheeta? Yes. Yeah. Fucking, yeah, the, the match I'm looking forward to most at, at All Out, easily. I think it's dope, man. I think that hype video showing uh, NWA footage and everything was awesome. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I've said it before. Like, I don't really know much about NWA. So, seeing footage of it made me very intrigued so now i have to go back and watch some more of it then we get to the contract signing between oh. kevin's favorite person in the world mjf uh. and uh the aw world heavyweight champion john moxley um which they mentioned it earlier and i saw it all on twitter that mox was ranked number one did you guys see that? Over like 500. He's the number one ranked wrestler right now. Oh, the PWI. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Their their ranking system is both like, it's like half kayfabe, half like real world. And, oh, that's um, cool. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. To give Mox that highlight. I mean, it's not like the man hasn't busted his ass. Yeah. And ate a lot of fucking shit along the way. So. Well, it was funny because when they brought that up, uh, Jericho on commentary was like, why am I not number one? And then Shivani was like, well, I think you're like two or three Shivani. or something like that. He's <laughs> he's in the top ten. I looked at the list. Adam Cole's number two. I'm just saying. <clears throat> there you go. That makes okay. sense. That makes sense. My man. There you go. All right. Uh, so. Hey, can we talk about Moxley coming through the crowd again? Yes. Uh, oh, dope. man. So dope. So good. And you could just see it on his face. He was just so happy. Fucking everybody was, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the Bucks, the Bucks in that gauntlet match to double back to it. You, the, you know, the commentary was like, oh, there's a little extra something behind them. And I think they were being it really was like the bug. I think everybody tonight truly missed performing in front of fans. And oh. um, yeah, I, I just like I said, genuinely, I hope everything is OK. I understand there's yep. a risk, whatever. But I hope everything comes out positive from this because it felt great. It felt really, really fucking good to hear a real audience again. Oh, yeah. I want to plug Chris Jericho and Tony Schiavone on commentary. Yes. It got Shivani brought up the fact that Moxley's number one and Jericho had a problem with it. And Shivani goes, well, you're number three. And Jericho's like, what are you, number two? That's what it was. Okay, okay. 
I knew it was something, and it was hilarious. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, that man, Jericho's number crowd. three. I mean, I don't think it's too crazy, but it is kind of crazy. Don't start. Uh, <laughs> yo, though, with the with the crowd there, there was like a better energy. It was it was a yes. lot more higher higher energy, and it just yeah, it felt good. It was refreshing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yo, and the way they popped with MJF talking about Moxley's hairline. Fucking deteriorate. Oh shit, dude. That line got oh. that line got everybody. That was really good. <laughs> I yeah. even winced a little. I was like, holy shit. Mox and came I want... back. It'll happen to you, son, once you hit puberty. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was a good fuck. retort, but MJF, I mean, no one no one compares to MJF on that fucking mic, dude. He is even an assassin on that microphone. Yeah, as much as I fucking despise MJF. We deserve better. He, shut up, Kevin. Don't start. <laughs> hey, legit, tell Jericho, tell your hot little wife I'm single. <laughs> you mean Moxley? Moxley. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yes. That was some <laughs> shit. Yeah, Mox almost ripped his fucking head off. And rightfully so. Nobody talks about Renee like that. She's a beautiful woman. Fuck you, MJF. Dad, no one can really talk shit about Renee. Because she's a beautiful, she's pure soul. Oh, man. I love her. M- MJF has got some fucking balls. What can I say? <laughs> you would know, wouldn't you? <laughs> don't, be, don't be jealous. No. Don't be We're jealous, all right, girl. Kevin, it's all right. When not- MJF takes Mox's title, me and you can high five. Yes. Oh, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. It's not. Dude, I want it to happen so close. bad. We're, we're and not even split. like, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. Not even from the standpoint of like my MJF love, which is real. But even if I put that shit aside, it's like, bruh. This guy is, first of all, like I've said before, AEW home home guy, completely homebrew. Secondly, he's been built completely through their system of wins and losses that uh, lends complete legitimacy to all that shit. You're going to piss off MLW fans, Kev. <laughs> Why? Because that's where, that's where uh, MJF, there is no such thing as a uh, AEW homebrew talent right yet. Oh whatever! They, they Fucking... all they all cut their teeth somewhere else. Yeah, Kevin. So, uh, you same mean thing what, with... I get what you're saying. You mean non WWE guy? Well, fine, whatever. Fucking not... <laughs> however you want to word it. Give MJF the title. Let's go. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not some kind of fucking wrestling goddamn political correct wrestling guy that's like fucking trying to remember where everybody came from and shit because everybody came from somewhere right is what i'm saying even we guys came from somewhere and what i'm saying is is that like obviously mjf has been most popular and on the biggest stage in aew so he is known for being an aew probably more than he was for being an M- mlw I got you, man. Listen now. I just I can see I had it now. To throw Tony Khan walking into John Moxley's us, locker room. Man. Hey, yeah, congrats on number one. Give, give him Jeff your belt. Rush says, I'm with Kevin, <laughs> AEW homegirl. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. um Tommy Dreamer. Sorry, man. I I he it wasn't for me. Did you say Whatever. Tommy Dreamer instead of Tommy Streamer? Streamer, bro. Did you say Dreamer, did you say dreamer or I did say Dreamer? You're, I wish you're right. Dreamer was in our damn Holy like, fuck! That'd be fucking oh, cool. Mark out right now. I'd pop. Listen, you're entitled to your opinion. What I'm saying is, is that this is big for AEW. Is what I mean. My fanboy stand fucking bullshit for AEW is coming out more than it is for MJF in this situation. Look, I agree with you, Kev. I do agree with you. <laughs> um, however, the contract signing didn't stop there. Uh, Katie, what was on the line with that contract signing? So basically, if Mox signed, the paradigm shift would be banned at All Out. He would not be allowed to use that move. And Mox is basically saying, all right, you're going to take away my one move. That just forces me to get creative. And he signs it. MJF and his team pop. They're like, oh, my God, yes. But Mox drops (laughs) a bombshell. He's like, oh, page 17. And attorney Mark, who he loved was like the fuck you mean page 17 <laughs> and did next that dude, week did that dude dyed his hair gray this week i don't know i don't remember I, his I, hair being that gray last week i don't know yeah, that's a good point i just want to just throw that out there I, I was like his hair is awfully white i don't recall that i 
couldn't fucking tell you. Okay, I don't. Anyways, remember. anyways, go on. E Rush in chat says Mox is gonna win with a single arm DDT. A single. <laughs> that's a legit theory right there. That's all right. That's we deserve, good. We de- we deserve better than that. No, we don't. <laughs> we ah, got you still. I'm I'm with it. Katie, you rush. I'm with you. That's a good. So idea. for like. next week, on the line is uh, a warm up match: Mox versus Attorney Mark, as he's calling him. <laughs> and the paradigm shift is in play. And if Attorney Mark does not show up, MJF doesn't get his fucking match at all out. <laughs> so oh. we get to see uh attorney mark get dropped on his head a plethora of times next week i love how mox is like hey man you're going for a ride next week <laughs> wear a helmet <laughs> wear a helmet kid oh my god that was fun i'm into that i i want to see him beat that dude's ass dude. i, I <laughs> will gonna be say funny. for all the things you could sneak into a contract that is kind of fucking stupid you know you could have snuck in there mjf has his hands tied behind his back you could have snuck in there. It's a cage match. You know what I mean? The fact that what he snuck in there was, hey, I get to beat up your lawyer next week. It doesn't really I'm affect about it. MJF. Like, why is MJF affected by this? I don't care. Because your He's lawyer like, is a douchebag, and he... I'm going to dunk him on his head. But Let's what I'm go. saying is MJF ain't going to give a shit. You know what I mean? Like, but the lawyer will. Like, yeah, but that's... I'm, I'm nitpicking. <laughs> You're being me. an absolute fucking hater. Stop it. <laughs> that's valid. <laughs> He's gonna thunk the lawyer on his head, and me and Kevin are gonna high five. <laughs> this is gonna be the weirdest fucking video with everyone getting fucking taken out. <laughs> I have too much power. All right. I can't wait to have the power. It's gonna be. It's gonna be bad. All right. If you, if you're listening to the audio podcast, I kick Kevin out the room again. 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 It might happen. It might happen. Oh. Okay. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Victory! Fucking <laughs> wait. It was killed. bound to happen. Oh my I totally God. did it on purpose. Rob was a bad influence on me. Oh my! <laughs> God. Oh my God! I almost died. <coughs> oh my, oh my God, God, dude! That's something for the YouTube audience right there. I ain't even scared. <laughs> that's, that's for YouTube right there, y'all. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, anyways, Brian Pillman was in a match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brian Pillman Jr. was in a match. Brian Pillman Jr. Um, yeah, it was the Lucha Bros and Butcher and Blade. And, of course, uh, Eddie Kingston was with them, taking on Sunny Kiss, Joey Janela, uh, who the fuck is Griff Garrison, and Brian Pillman Jr. <laughs> um, clearly, what Eddie said last week lit a fire under all their asses because fantastic teamwork amongst uh, the Lucha Bros and Butcher and the Blade. And at, uh, I don't even know what the fuck Lucha Bros hit to win. I wasn't really paying attention, but I know they win. And we find out that all five men, so uh, both the Lucha Bros, Butcher and Blade, and Eddie Kingston are going to be in the Casino Battle Royale. It gives them like a 20 or 25% chance to win now. Yeah, because there's only yeah. twenty to twenty five participants. I can't remember there's, exactly how much. There's twenty one. Twenty one. Okay, okay. So they pretty much have a twenty five percent chance to win. Yeah. Okay. Didn't uh didn't uh uh Brian Cage and Ricky Starks say they were going to be in it too? Yeah. So all okay. the participants we Archer. know is That's Lance right. Archer, Darby Allen, Brian Cage, Ricky Starks, uh, and then all five men I just named before. Yeah. Jesus, that's almost half of it. I right was, there. Yeah, <laughs> I will say I was surprised to see that Brian Pillman Jr. ate the pin and not um, who the yeah. fuck is Griff the Garrison? The fourth guy that we don't even know his damn name. Griff Garrison. It's not Griff even Garrison. in my notes. I ha- I have Sonny have- Kiss, Janela Pillman Jr., and that other guy. Uh, <laughs> you have to watch <laughs> Being the Elite, but he gets mm. obviously he gets mistaken for Jungle Boy. He really yeah. all the time. Yeah, uncanny. <laughs> Yeah. Uncanny. Yeah. Like twice the size of him. It's it's hilarious because if you watch Being the Elite, I'll give you the short end of this. Uh, like on one episode, they're trying to recruit Jungle Boy, but they mistake Griff Garrison as him. So <laughs> uh, Brody Lee, the Dark Order is trying to recruit him. And so Brody Lee calls them all dumb shits because it's Griff Garrison, not Jungle Boy. And then the joke, who the fuck is Griff Garrison is born. Fast forward like another week later. Jungle Boy ends up in the room and everybody freaks out on him saying, fuck you, Griff Garrison, and tosses him out. <laughs> and Brody Lee's like, what the fuck? That was 
that was uh, Jungle, Jungle Boy. Boy. And they were like, no, that was Griff Garrison. So it was, it was the joke of mistaken identity. Dude, being the elite's hilarious. I mean, it's... Uh, y- it's kind I know, of I need to watch miss it. now, but dude, it's it's so worth watching every Monday. I'm not gonna lie, man. There, it's how so long? Fun. How long is it? It's like twenty to thirty minutes. Yeah. Oh, so it's okay. Yeah, it's no. it's short, but it's dude, it's hilarious. Um, and I think actually this week's episode is a great starting point uh, for anybody that's watched AEW recently um, because it is like half in story, half complete like fucking kayfabe Ridicu- ridiculous. nonsense but uh, i love it it is it is good man it is good i mean right the, the dark order is slowly becoming the best part of being the elite what? and it makes sense because when they come out as w- carrying the casket and like number 10 or whoever the fuck is in the casket wearing the nightmare family jacket uh they start going on this tangent of everything they bought with their Million okay. dollars. They're million Chili's. dollars a piece. Um, <laughs> if you watch being the elite, they I don't even know how to fucking describe this. They basic they got a go Chili's ahead. ad that the elite should have had. Dude, it's it sounds stupid, but it's hilarious. Okay, <laughs> listen now. I'm intrigued. And now they're all millionaires because they they were able to obtain this Chili's advertisement. Um, <laughs> so because they each they each have a million dollars. That's why they were talking evil Uno. Oh, that's about what they Stu Grayson all the buying those what did cars. you buy with your million dollars? <laughs> what would I buy? What did you buy? Uh paid off my student debt and bought a car. Oh, that's exactly that's exactly what I would fucking do. I bought tap damn lessons. You fuck, fucking hate you. Yo, is Rob frozen? What the fuck happened to Rob? No, I'm just sitting here listening. He's listening. To I'm here. <laughs> Taking it all in. He's, he's intrigued. Rob is a fucking sloth, man. That dude can hold a position. I know. So that's <laughs> why they bring that up, and that's why Brody Lee buys or bought six fucking lawnmowers basically to rub it in Hangman's face because Hangman just wanted that to buy a goddamn lawnmowers. lawnmower. Oh, yes. okay. I for- okay. Because I was like, what the fuck is with the lawnmowers? I was like, this, like whatever. I'm about here, like, you know, uh, this promo because it's, it's baller as fuck. Mm-hmm. But I was like, lawnmowers? What's Even on? Jericho on commentary. Yeah. Like, lawnmowers? Yeah. I mean, that's why you guys got me. I got you. Yeah. Thank you. No, you do. Being the elite needs to be on your weekly shit. Like, it, I think I think being the elite is more important to watch than honestly. I feel bad for saying this, but then AW Dark. Like right I yeah. really do, because some of their shit does bleed onto the product. Where AW Dark is kind of its own thing. Um, the only thing that's bled on from Dark is, I think, uh, Scorpio Sky. Well, there's been a couple yeah. other things, a little bit, like you know, uh, Griff Grace uh, Garrison, whatever the hell his name is, has been on there a few times. Brian Pillman Jr. has been on there a few times. Uh, stuff like that, you know, but it's not. Yeah, you you can totally get away without watching it. Yeah, whereas yeah. like I said, the Dark Order shit completely bleeds into the real product. Yeah, the only yeah. thing is, on being the elite, a million f bombs. Like Brody really? is the most vulgar motherfucker, dude, in the world, it. dude. Oh my god! Oh shit, that's funny. Yeah. I didn't he know that. so many f's. And John Silver is a is a trooper too, by the way. <laughs> Silver is a fucking trooper. I mean, you even saw it. When Brody Lee finally comes out and Evelyn was like, All right, everyone go give him a high five, go. And then Silver goes and Brody Lee just goes like this. And <laughs> so Silver misses. And then he ends up clocking Silver later. But um, basically, Brody Lee comes out and he's like, All right, no more open challenges. Basically saying, Fuck you, Indy guys. You're not allowed on the show anymore. About time. Um, oh. About time. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, gosh. We knew none of them were going to get the fucking belt. Okay, come on now. I it mean, was still cool. It was still cool. Like, uh, Warhorse was was awesome. It see. brought Eddie Kingston War to AEW. Was Eddie okay. Kingston? Eddie Kingston. She's right. Eddie, Eddie Kingston and uh, uh, who was the other? Uh, Ricky Ricky Stark. Yeah, mm. Stark. Stark. Sir, there's an S. Stark. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you, Kevin? Uh, yeah, Kevin, what the fuck? So there's been legit uh, things that have happened beyond just the match. Uh, but, you know, some of it really was just like a showcase. I hear you. Yeah. I mean, so now it, it'll be intriguing to see how they bring new talent in without the TNT title. Mm-hmm. But uh, then 
Uh, Anna Jay comes out. They're, she's deemed now the Queen Slayer, which was interesting. I thought and that was badass. I thought I, that was a cool name. She is a badass. Yeah. I'm just saying. She ain't got Abaddon to take her out. Just throwing that out there. Abaddon's Abaddon eat her terrifying. brains. Yeah, yeah sure, get man. it. I didn't even notice. You. Oh my god, I didn't either. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, Jess, I'm if you're so watching, right order now. me an Abaddon T-shirt, please. I'm just jealous. I want. I'm gonna. Get Hell it. yeah. All right. <laughs> I, um, I ordered it at the same time. I ordered the MJF shirt. Just to say, Kevin, Jess didn't order you that shirt, did she? <laughs> I don't think so. But no. I mean, I wouldn't tell you if she did. I don't Kevin. think so. <laughs> yeah, I say no, but I got five in my closet. But you did. You, you, know. <laughs> you guys are. She ordered me some other stuff though. <laughs> can I keep right. them both. I can keep them both, right? I got that oh. WrestleMania five DVD. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. This Matt, uh, Matt Jackson, the young bucks. <laughs> All right, hold on. You got to let the crowd let the crowd die down. Ever, everyone simmer down. Sorry. Simmer down, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right, Katie, I'm you're right. doing great. Oh, doing am great. I? <laughs> no, I love yeah, how this we're... is like the new generation trying to take out the old generation on uh, Smack Draw Podcast here. <laughs> Bro, we're we're animals. So. I'll still imagine just ass, me Kevin. and Kevin. That's what it used to be. <laughs> Dude, things would. Oh my god! I don't know how these guys got through an episode. I don't know. It either. was so fucking fun, though. Like, <laughs> I, oh, man. Um, the Young Bucks confronting Hayme Page, though, was legit. Ooh. Fucking legit, man. I mean, it finally... I mean, this also is bringing, like, being the elite into it as well. Because okay. <clears throat> Page has been saying for months he doesn't even want to be in the elite anymore. But obviously he still is. As of tonight, he's officially not. Matt, Jackson, and Nick, they both give, like, such heartfelt fucking promos to Paige. Like, you can, yeah. you can, you can feel the emotion between the three of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Matt throws a uh, hangman's drink in his face and is like, you know what? You wanted this. We were trying to hold on to something that clearly wasn't fucking there. You're out of the elite. And then the such a beautiful shot of hangman looking into a mirror that was shattered oh my god that was so good like didn't... i got goosebumps a little i was like holy shit they didn't yeah. even linger on the shot either to yeah. overplay it it was just it was visual no, it was and quick. beautiful it was perfect it was Dude, really it was... really well done no it, it was uh we got we got people in the chat saying they fucking cried man i was yeah i almost did yeah, I don't know man. if I was quite there, but it definitely, I was like, holy shit, Hangman Page uh, feels like he fucked up, for and sure. Yeah, and this is obviously you know? in retaliation to Hangman costing him the match in the Gauntlet match, um, which we can speculate that uh, either they didn't want to face the Young Bucks again, or he didn't want to face the Young Bucks again, or maybe he might be planning on turning on Omega to That's, get the yeah. belts over to FTR. What we um, didn't see when the camera turned off was he picked up his tablet and went to uh, joindarkorder.com. <laughs> <laughs> yes, perfect. Fucking Rob, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. Next week, Adam Page comes out as number 11. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, they have tried to recruit him before with no, with no avail. Oh, they have, haven't they? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, yo, I actually, I really, I really kind of think at this point with that kind of shit going on that uh, Paige is totally going to turn on Omega. I think that's how it's going to happen at uh, um, All Out, frankly. I think they're in cahoots, okay. you know? It's, There's it's, some, uh, it's crazy, man. We've been waiting for it. This is probably one of the most anticipated things in AEW. Oh we've fuck had yeah! Is the deterioration of Omega and Hangman Page mm -hmm. and well, the elite been, in general? It's been like, well, Jesus, that that deterioration has been since they started the weekly episodic AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, basically. You know, so on top of that, it, it, it's a question of who's turning heel. Hangman mm -hmm. Page is turning into a depressing drunk, yeah, and then right. Kenny is turning into a vicious version psychopath. of the cleaner, a psychopath, yeah. like. It's really of like 
who is the legitimate heel? Because both of them are becoming fucking pricks um, one way or another. Well, right now, it's all like I almost felt like some sympathy for Hangman Page, though, like tonight. You know what you I'm saying? You can't, man. That's. What don't do you let mean? Those, don't fuck let those like, doe eyes fool you. Anything I want. Yeah, no, you can't, Kevin. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I'm responsible for my feelings, not you, you dickhead. Hashtag fuck you, Kevin. Hashtag fuck off, Kevin. Fuck, fuck your feelings, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fuck your feelings. No, but for real, I, I felt kind of like some uh, sympathy for him because like, it looked like he didn't want to do what he did, too. You know what I'm saying? And he was really conflicted about it, you know? Um, that's why it leads me to believe that he's in cahoots with uh, uh, FTR. You know, to get them the belts. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't Man, think it's, so. It's, it's a. It is a complex story, right? And right. I like it because usually a lot of stories, <clears throat> you can see one clear path. This one has a couple branches. That Absolutely, it could go off of, and you don't know exactly which way it's gonna go. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Um, it's good to not feel like you can easily predict what's going to happen unlike this match we had with big swole that well, i gotta this. say i gotta shout out my homie tommy streamer he says put cage cody and ftr or page cody and ftr and four horsemen i'd be okay with that. let's stop trying to create a four horsemen faction please i'm okay with that <laughs> I want to tell him to stop. He's got a good idea, okay? Yeah, he's responsible for his feelings too, <laughs> you Kyle. Let, you let people have stop feelings, it. Kyle. Jesus Christ, it's not man. a show for feelings. It's not a show for feelings. All right, I'm out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. Jesus Christ. We also didn't realize this was going to be a three-on-one handicap. I thought it right? was going to be the two. I thought it was just going to be Britt, who, like I said last week, was not in the match at all, and Penelope Ford. But Reba makes her second appearance, and she she's she's the future. She is such a she good is wrestler. not the fucking she's future. The future. She's, she's, future. Such a mouth. she's the next Lacey you Evans. See moon, you see that moon salt she nailed? <laughs> you stop it! I can't figure she's... out how to get back in here. I'm, I'm yeah. I just looked at the chat and I was like, "Where the fuck did Kyle go?" I tried she's... to play a joke. I can't get back in. Oh, oh wait, I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, cool. All oh right. my god. <laughs> Yo, she's doing her best. She's doing her best, guys. Reba. Who? Me or Reba? <laughs> you too. I mean, and here's the thing is your best is better than Reba's. So there you go. Yeah, I mean one we... thing though, like jokes aside, speaking of how bad Reba is, which like <laughs> uh, uh, like no, that, I'm not even saying that it's criticism. And it, it she purposely made it shown that she's not good. Oh yeah. One thing I oh, got yeah. from this was for a minute there, Penelope Ford was killing it. But yep. now you're teamed up in a tag team with this person that can't wrestle. That maybe can wrestle. She's just purposely not looking yeah. good because that's the storyline or whatever. But that kind of made me sad because Penelope Ford for a minute we're like, oh, she ain't got it. And then all of a sudden she's like, look, I do got it. And me and Kevin were jocking her. And now all of a sudden yeah. she's thrown in the matches that don't mean anything. I will see building it. a storyline that doesn't involve her. A positive in this though right, is right. Big Swole. Yes. Oh, yeah. I think Big Swole is a fucking star. She Excuse won me, me over so for hard sure. tonight. Like, I mean, she, I knew she was cool and all, but tonight her dancing, her music and her hip hop going off. I'm just like, yeah. oh, man, okay, you're Dope. legit. Yeah. Big Spool. I'm so ready shit, for man. her and Baker to go off. I'm so ready. Dude, yeah. it didn't even go off. It's Big Spool's going to destroy Baker. Not nah. for sure. Yeah, man. Mm. I, that's got to be the match. That right? has to be the outcome. Just yeah. Big It has to be the outcome, but let it. Baker have some offense first. You don't want to kill Britt Baker. Well, that's true. That's true. Especially with her first match back. I mean, yeah. I feel you. Yeah, she's going to kill Baker. Let Baker have some offense because Britt Baker yeah. is awesome. You let let the women's title match, you know, and scene play out between Sheeta and Thunder Rosa, and then Big Swole is the next person in that picture because yeah. she's easily the next biggest star um, oh, in yeah. ring wise too. I mean, obviously Britt Baker is a huge star, but she's working more promo gimmicky shit until she can be back in the ring. Swole. Swole's a fucking star, man. I'm sold oh, yeah. on her now, dude. Like oh, yeah. so much. They've done a great job with her. Nah, she's the total package. She's definitely the total package, and she's getting the right push. She's right not now. Lex Luger. 
I was, I, you know, that it didn't sit well with me either, Rob. I'm glad you said something. <laughs> well, my bad, guys. My bad. Sorry. I had, I had to say, Kevin. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Tia Conte joining Dark Order. Probably. I that looks that way. Looks that, that way. Well, I don't know I who mean, that was. Who was that? Fill me she, in. She she was on NXT and yep. teased Ooh. like she was leaving. <laughs> didn't leave and then did get fired <laughs> like, <laughs> like that all happened like so, in a week or something like yeah you know? yeah so like, jokes aside more fuel for the aew is the new wwe crowd i just it was tia conte has like a weird like um why'd she get fired sense of the, no part of the big like layoffs yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. back in April. but she had okay, she gotcha, did have gotcha. a very weird <laughs> series of events because she was on TV doing her thing. She wasn't huge, but she did have some impact. And then there was like on the news circuit, she was unhappy. She was showing up that says like, you know, she's been fired or released. Um, but then it turns out she wasn't fired. And then like a month later, she did get fired. And it was yeah. just some really weird fucking timing with all the events that happened to her. But now she's in AEW. Um It'd be cool to see more women in the Dark Order. I'm here for it. Yeah. 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 Plus, like, yeah. I, I feel like she's a good uh, addition to the the women's uh, women's division in general in AEW yes. right now. That that's just kind of depleted, frankly. You know. Yeah. I mean, we we've talked about it in so many different ways before. Their women's division is, I, it's not the best. But you also have to think they've been a company for about a year. Mm-hmm uh tna's knockout division took like five years the wwe's women division took a fucking hashtag that yeah, is right? just no now shit. sparking shit so that my defense for the aw women's division is they're still new they have a lot of talent that can't be used right now due to injury or travel issues they're doing what they can we're not even going to talk about the fucking tournament because that was fucking stupid. We're not that talking about that. That was really bad. Yeah, was that was very bad. Yeah, but they, it really gave bad. it gave us Ivelisse and Diamante. That's hey, true. That's true. But they, that should have been on television, man. That it, straight it up should have been on television. It definitely should have. I mean, they're lacking in showing their support for their women. I mean, and not even that. Like just putting them on TV. Yes, they have one to two matches on dark. Yes, they had the tournament, excluding the finals, on YouTube. But they're... I just, like, I just get mad talking about it. Like, they just need to start <laughs> no, focusing. No, no, I mean... They, they have to start focusing on the women. Because people like me, yeah, I grew up, obviously, idolizing the majority of the guy wrestlers. Because there, I didn't have a whole lot of women to look up to. I had Lita and Trish. And those are my two hands down. That's a legit two. Just throwing that out there. I just got, that's a legit two. Just saying. Yeah, I mean, just no. saying. I, yeah, I got to shout out my attitude era. The best. Yeah, I mean, I like I had growing up, I had like Trish, Lita, and like China. Like those were like my three. China was the shit. Break it she down. Was, God, God, just yeah, China was awesome. Just she was badass. So I think once they focus on their women's division and get them in the right place, like Sheeta, Swole, Baker, Statlander, they can be. This upcoming generation's Lita, Trish, absolutely. China. There you go. No, the Statlander is it, oh, that sucks. I felt so bad because she was she was hot. She was red oh, hot. She was. She was. I, I could have seen her being champion just as much as I believe Sheeta being champion right now. Mm-hmm. No, no question. So, and that was just uh, just bad luck. Mm-hmm. Bad timing. Yeah. Yeah. Something else that got a lot of bad timing was tonight's fucking main event, this tables match. How nine shit minutes was this ruined? It was, it was fucking awful. Half of it was in picture in picture. Sammy got busted open in some way, shape, or form during picture the picture in picture. In picture, Sammy was busted open. Matt Hardy's revenge fell in picture in picture and i it looked nasty dude. and in nine minutes it was like less than nine no it was less than nine minutes do yeah. we somehow blame jr for this one he is the picture in picture guy <laughs> oh my god the last trans i think that's a tnt issue the last, trans- issue. <laughs> the last no. transition into picture in picture was fucking great it was like 
fucking JR, like Jericho was trolling the shit out of JR. It was, it was, it was really, really funny. The, the match started with less than nine minutes till yep. 10 PM. Mm -hmm. um, Sammy Guevara didn't even get an entrance. Matt Hardy got half of an entrance. Um, within a couple minutes of the match, they went to commercial. I thought we were done with commercial breaks. Once so it started. Did I. Yeah. yeah, but they still broke it up with a commercial break, went picture in picture. Um, most people don't watch the picture in picture. Now, granted, it's nice that you do offer substance in that PIP, but it was <laughs> fucking stupid. To Save have it for times IMPs. where guys don't get busted open at key moments of storylines. Oh my God, exactly wrong. Thank <laughs> you, Jesus. <laughs> Yo, you know what? Fucking stupid, man. No, no, no. I, I, I hear I you. I mean, you I had mean, your money shot of the storyline, and it happened while I was in watching a Subway. Picture subs. in fucking picture. I've been, I've been waiting for him to do something like this because they put over picture in picture every goddamn week. Like it's the coolest fucking thing that's ever been invented for goddamn wrestling. And this so, week, it fucking ruined two <laughs> big ass moments. They're fucking dumb. It yes, was pointless. Yeah, uh, it was something. I mean, happened. I like. Something I like happened. the I I like the idea of the picture in picture. Uh, yeah, I mean, but like, do something dumb during it, please. It's, you know, it's because they're trying to get like the Twitter following and like doing these fucking yeah. hashtags. I mean, I was one of those people before I started the podcast. I was doing the, I was yeah. doing the hashtags. So I was like, I want a fucking fact. I want a prize back. But yeah. now I have this, so I can't do that because I have to focus <laughs> and take notes. But like, I also I realized I was like, oh, Sammy went through a table. Why is the match not over? I didn't realize someone had you had to put your opponent through the table. Yeah, I didn't. I, if they said it before they went to all the fucking commercials, I wasn't paying attention. Right. But I saw Sammy go through the table. I was like, why is the match not what over? Was, and then Matt went through the table. What was the weird thing with the chair under the table? I don't know. They set up a chair under the table. And I, my thinking was it was to create a false finish. Like the chair would have prevented the table from breaking. Maybe. I don't know. I don't but know. it didn't. But didn't at all. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Hardy set up Sammy Guevara on the table. He was going to leg drop or something. Sammy threw it. And then Matt Hardy, who had a apparently concussion, uh, stumbled on the top rope and Sammy just hit a superplex. You could tell it was rushed due to the timing of the show. Oh, they yeah. Just, they yeah. ran out of time. There's, there's, no other way to explain it other than like we're out of time. Sammy hits a superplex, table breaks, the chair under the table served, no, no impact purpose. or purpose. <laughs> yeah. Um and then that was it. And granted, you know, in, in a bubble, Matt Hardy put over younger talent. Cool. Mm -hmm. But this match that was supposed to have big payoff on both AEW storyline being the elite storyline felt like right. it was just another match it was fucking completely wasted yeah, yeah. uh no I, I i i agree but maybe it was just rust because they haven't been on they haven't done live you know shit in a in a while if that's, i remember correctly i mean that's not necessarily true this is the first time they've been live with fans in a long ass okay time. okay had, I was... they've been live they would do like grouping of like episodes I blame oh, okay yeah just takes too what? long with his promos, man. Would you shut the fuck up? That guy deserves as <laughs> much time as Listen, he needs. Man, it's MJF's fault. It's all MJF's fault. Yeah. We deserve better, and he is better. So Hashtag save Nina 2020. Oh, my God. Nina is just fine. Did you she notice? What, she, okay, she was forced smiled like before they came to the ring, but she wasn't forced smiling in the ring. I was like, yay. I really want to see nina's like twitter feed how hilarious would it be if you followed her on twitter and she's like please somebody help me for the love <laughs> of god <laughs> <laughs> probably oh my god rob and what'd that, you think of the show man it was good i enjoyed it i actually kind of almost got into an argument with somebody on twitter because they were like dynamite's bad i'm like no dynamite's great and they're like why is it great and it's kind of left alone <laughs> Well, <laughs> what are you gonna say? <laughs> because it's great. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's great. Yo, but what about uh, Orange Cassidy coming out? Yes, full yeah. fucking yeah. sprint, dude. That was the weirdest thing in the very yeah. back of the screen. Like you could just, just see seeing, him a like bit. it looked like a crazed fan 
just yeah, that's ran what I thought. The, <laughs> the only like the thing was that it was kind of awkward because I think like to your point, Kyle, I think they were running out of time, so they were kind of you know scrambling. It was like <laughs> go orange, I go. The, <laughs> yeah, no. Like I heard the music and like they were still like focused on what was going on Same, in the ring, yeah. and I was like, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden, I saw Orange Cassidy. I was like, whoa, where is he? And then he was gone on the other side of the fucking screen by the time I thought that in my head and beating the shit out of Jericho. It was nuts. Shivani oh. tried getting away and then they got in his fit in his way. He's like, Oh wait, no, never mind. He went right back to the table. I thought that was funny. Yeah, he goes to, he goes, Hey, JR, we should probably get the hell out of here. Or like that. <laughs> and then psych. Yeah, that was funny. It's just a lot of chaos in of like a three minute time span. Mm-hmm. It would have been hilarious. Be like, oh my god, is that retribution? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good. That would have been really good. Oh man. No, that was good. That was good. No, uh, overall, man, I really liked it. And it was um with the with the spice of the live crowd, it was it was uh it was easy to forgive uh the uh some of the shortcomings that the the show had because like yeah the ending didn't really land for sure. But other than that, for me, I thought it was it's a pretty solid show. Yeah. I really, really hope that we don't get fucking news of coronavirus spreading at yeah. AW. Some bullshit like that. I really hope this is one of the first signs of audiences coming back to a live product. Because, yep. let's face it, in the nutshell, pro wrestling needs totally a live needed. audience. It, it needs it a live audience. But speaking of that, when when they talked about they were selling tickets in pods, I thought, okay, there's going to be six people in section 200. There's going to be six people in section 201. Your upper level was full. Yeah, it was they, pretty bad. They overdid it. it. Yeah, maybe I mean, maybe everybody sure. was like, yo, are you cool? And they were like, yeah, we're cool, man. <laughs> Ain't nobody cool. Everybody gonna say that. Oh, I got tickets to AE Dub. I'm I'm part of history right now. I'm I will I will first. say when Dang. JR was like talking through all the safety precautions because JR and Chris Jericho really tried to put over that they're being safe when they covered face masks and they were like, yes, and face masks are encouraged. Yes. (laughs) Well, when you have a segue, um, Synergy Pro Wrestling, who's putting on a show Heat Seekers this Saturday, telling people that if you do take off your face masks, you will be ejected immediately. Oh, oh shit. Good. Yeah. Tune yeah. in to Fight TV, by the way, you guys. Uh this Saturday, uh, when uh Synergy puts on their match uh, or their event, Heat Seekers. It's gonna be a ton of fun. Um Smack Draw Podcast is sponsoring the match between LSG and Matt McIntosh. Uh nice. I really look forward to that, man. Uh LSG was actually on an episode two of UWO, uh, mm-hmm. which was really fun. But uh yeah. We'll be, uh, we'll be covering that too, won't we? Yes. Yes. Cool. I will be doing a recap show of that. I don't know who's going to join me. Um, it might be a 10 minute recap. It might be a full on podcast. We'll find out Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> but... Flying by the seat of our pants. Yeah, pretty much. Strictly professional here. Oh, Rob, yeah. <laughs> Rob, uh, you are the newcomer to the show. Uh, um <laughs> you have anything you want to plug do you, do you have twitch or something that you're doing no i don't really content create no more i kind of <laughs> I, took, I took a new job and it all went on hold because yeah. like my my schedule is all over the place i'm like yeah i'm gonna do a thing with you next tuesday and then it works and i'm like nah psych you ain't doing shit next tuesday but working that sucks yeah man well, I'm gonna be in touch with you, Rob. I think we're gonna get some more stuff out of you if we can find the time correct. Absolutely. Because you are a smacked raw OG co founder. Uh we appreciate I am a, I did get invited to a project with Vince today, but NDA I can't say what. <laughs> I am very excited for this project. I am like legit like wait between ten o'clock and us recording. I, I was jotting notes for that. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Vince has said it. I don't know if he said it last night during the stream or during the mm-hmm. actual like episode. I'm pretty sure he said it, but it's fine. Yeah, he probably did, but I'm gonna let him break his NDA. There you go. <laughs> I'm I'm excited about it. I think you guys it, will kill it with that, honestly. Yeah, it seems cool. Katie, go ahead and sign us off for the night. How, how how the hell do I sign us off? 
Bye, everybody. You tell the listeners, <laughs> thank you I'm for being still- here. And tell I'm, your friends this was the best AEW cover show you have ever seen in your entire life. Look I'm stealing Ky- uh, Kyle's wife. Fuck and I off, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing one of the five t-shirts he bought him.